The word of the day today is heartbreaking. Every time I say the word heartbreaking, a member of the Church of Scientology is abducted and probed by Lord Xenu. Another member of Chester Bennington's family has come out to voice concerns over the recent Lincoln Park reunion. The former lead singer's mom calls the band's recent decisions to move forward with the new singer Emily Armstrong Heartbreak. Before we get into her words of hurt, hello, hi, welcome. My name is Dan Frampton, and I am the originator of Neo Astrological Grindcore. Just kidding, I just like to make good old fashioned YouTube videos, and if you comment on it within the first three hours of it going online, I will reply. Try to goad me into a debate or something. So, this Linkin Park drama is now going to be considered a saga at this point. It's been going on through many different updates. If you need all the full story, I've documented the whole thing on this channel. There are four videos already on this topic on this channel, but things just keep happening and it is my responsibility to update the audience on all the goings on going on in Camp Lincoln Park. But I'll give you the speed run of the drama if you don't feel like going back and watching those videos. In 2017, Lincoln Park lost their lead singer, Chester Bennington. In 2024, in the month of August, Lincoln Park dropped a 100 hour countdown on their Twitter. When that 100 hours counted down, it just started to count back up again with the promise of September 5th being the day to tune into. September 5th rolls around, they announce a new project, they announce a tour, they unveil a new lead singer, they do a live stream with that lead singer, and all is going very well for the first 24 hours. But then the Discord started to disseminate and it was found out that their new lead singer, the choice that they made was to bring on Emily Armstrong of the band Dead Sarah, but more notably a supporter of Danny Masterson and a member of the Church of Scientology, whose mom is in the Sea Org. And that's just to say that they're like really deep into the cult. The diehard fans are still gonna be fans of the band. They're not going to let any of this taint anything, but other people are quick to say, well, Scientology kind of discredits all the mental anguish that Chester was going through. So to replace Chester with somebody that has the Scientology beliefs is a little bit frick. And then Emily Armstrong comes on and drops this kind of like half-assed response on her Instagram stories, and nobody is really quelled by these words. She doesn't even address the Scientology thing, and she kind of brushes off the Danny Masterson thing. No big deal. Yeah, he's He's bad, I don't like him anymore. So what could have been a very successful rollout was already tainted in controversy and we weren't done yet. Chester's son Jamie started to speak up. I made a whole video about his response to it, but he was not very happy about the whole Linkin Park, Emily Armstrong situation either. All the members of the band blocked him. He is a very outspoken individual, absolutely, but I don't think the members of his father's band should really be out here blocking him. But I'm just some guy on the internet who really cares what I think. I'm not gonna really stick my nose into their personal endeavors. I'm just sticking my nose into the public endeavor. And what's been made very public very recently is Chester's mom's reaction to the whole thing. And let me tell you, she's not very happy. She is, quote, very upset about it. Chester's mom was interviewed by Rolling Stone, and that Rolling Stone article recently came out. But of course, they've paid walled it on the website, so you need to go to the aggregators of the aggregators to get any of the quotes. But luckily, you're here on the Dan Frampton YouTube channel, and I got all the relevant quotes for you right here. So first, she starts off by saying this. I feel betrayed. They told me if they were ever going to do something, they would let me know. They didn't let me know, and they probably knew that I wasn't going to be very happy. I'm very upset about it. Me personally, I think she has every right to be upset about this. No parent wants to outlive their kid, especially when that kid has a public legacy. These wounds aren't easily gonna heal whatsoever. But diving back into the article, she says, I found out about Emily Armstrong joining the band on Google. When I go on to Google to look for something, the first thing that often pops up is Linkin Park. And I saw the whole thing of, we have an announcement that whole week. They are at the top if you enter anything into Google. And of course, Linkin Park is gonna be on top of her algorithm. When a mother buries her son, that is something she mourns for the rest of her life. And then just to see somebody come in and try to step into these shoes, I can see how that could be kind of weird and painful. She says that she turned on the group's live stream performance when they announced Armstrong as Bennington's replacement earlier this month. Not on purpose, I thought her singing, I don't even remember what it was she was singing because I didn't want to hear it. It was just a moment, but it was just her, and I'm just gonna say it, screeching her way through a very high note 
and I got out of there as fast as I could. Now when you're in pain and when you're hurting, you're gonna say things like to an exaggerated level, of course. I don't think Emily was screeching her way through any notes. She's not nearly as good of a singer as Chester, not by a long shot, not even in the same stratosphere if I'm being honest with you. And if anybody other than Chester's mom said this, it would be seen as like a total hater thing to say. But what I see is probably more accurate to what actually went down is that she clicked on it, heard Chester's words coming from somebody else, they didn't quite sound as good and was like, I'm at that, oh my God. I can totally see how that could potentially re-traumatize somebody. Diving back in, I feel like they're trying very hard to erase the past. They're performing songs that Chester sang. And I don't know how the fans are taking it, but I know how I take it. And having Armstrong singing my son's songs is hurtful. Yeah, especially because he's singing about like mental anguish, mental illness, and all that sort of stuff. And Scientology people don't believe in that sort of thing. So at the very least, she's a phony baloney. Yeah, hurtful would be how I would feel too, if I was the mom of Chester. We're gonna explore one more quote. Here it is. Don't put her out there to sing Chester's songs and then act like this was all always the way it should have been. It's like making him go away, erasing the past. You don't have to worry about going through the old songs and finding new ones, new Chester songs to put out. Now you can put out new songs. But don't bother to put out Chester's songs with Emily singing them. That part I agree with just as a fan, because I know, again, what Scientologists believe, and I know, again, what Chester was going through. I don't know to what extent he was going through, but it was well documented how he was feeling throughout his entire life. So if anything, there's at least a creative disconnect there. Me, personally, I do believe that Linkin Park should be able to, like, reunite and go out there, but yeah, they made an awful decision recruiting Emily Armstrong. And all this doubling down is just making it look even worse for the band. The band now has so much to answer for. They have to answer for Danny Masterson. They have to answer for Scientology. They have to answer for Jamie. They have to answer for now Chester's mom. And the list goes on and on. What could have been such a miraculous rollout is now one of the most rocky ones in all of rock history. And I think the only way out of it is to like let Emily go and bring someone else in, but that makes it even more dramatic and makes it even more of a talking point. So what do you even do as a PR move in this case? Well, I think we're seeing it. They're putting on the blinders and they're just going like, nope, we're on tour. No, we're just going to play this show. No, we're just going to go on Jimmy Fallon. No, 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 no questions. No, 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 nothing. We're not going to go on any podcast. Na, 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 na. And it's just going to be more of that. But that in itself, optically, looks like sh You need to address the things that are being said about you. Otherwise, it looks like you're running from them. And if it looks like you're running from them, then it's like, well, what are you running from? What do you have to feel guilty about? What are you hiding? And that's just like in any situation with anybody that's been accused of anything by any big group of people. You need to at least address it in some sort of way. But I don't see that happening. They're gonna continue to sweep and ignore as they trudge forward. But I'm so disconnected from this. I was never a huge Linkin Park fan. Sure, I like some of the songs, but as a content creator, I want more drama. I want them to bring on another Scientologist. Bring it on, bring on the slop, because all of it is just bringing traffic to this channel. So thank you so much, Linkin Park, for being the hot mess that you are. Keep flying off the handle. You're well off the rails at this point, and I'm loving every bit of it. And I just love how Linkin Park is blocking and ignoring the people that would be most hurt by the loss of Chester, his son and his mom. It's incredible. It's egregious. I would even say it's incredulous. But if I'm to make a prediction, I'm to say that this situation is not even over. There will be more things coming out. There will be more updates to come. And how could there not be? The more you hide, the more questions are going to be asked. That is simple, basic internet 101. Linkin Park, you gotta get your head out of your ass. I don't know how you're gonna come back from this to like a general audience perspective because it is very messy. But those heartbreaking words of his mom, I wonder how they resonate with Emily as she goes up to like wear Chester's skin. Crawling in my skin, these wounds they will not heal. 
I wonder how that feels for her to shout those lines, knowing full well she doesn't believe in mental illness. Scientologist man, you really gotta look him up. The Sea Org, look that up. This stuff runs deep through the blood. But at the end of the day, those are just my thoughts. What I wanna know are your thoughts. Leave them down below. Remember, if you're here within the first three hours, I will reply. This topic is spicy, so the comment section is about to get rambunctious. So until my next upload, watch another upload. Okay, see you later. Have a good one.